Hi students, in this video we are going to learn an important case study from the arithmetic progression chapter. Look at the question. Your elder brother wants to buy a car and plans to take a loan from a bank for his car. He repays his total loan of 1,18,000 by paying every month starting with the first installment of Rs. 1,000. If he increases the installment by Rs. 100 every month, answer the following questions. So he started the installment with the amount 1000 rupees every year, sorry every month he is increasing it by 100 rupees. So by looking at the question, it's understood the first term is 1000 rupees and every month the difference is going to be 100. So D is 100 we should take. Total amount he should pay to the bank is 1,18,000. So these are all the conditions given to us. We will go for the question now. Look at the first question. The total amount paid in the 30th installment. So the first installment amount is 1000. And the next month it will be 1100. Next will be 1200 because every month he is increasing 100, 100 rupees. Then what will be the 30th month amount they are asking? So that is understood A30 they are asking. A30 our formula is AN formula. AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D is our basic formula to find the nth term. A30 will be written as A plus 29 D. So here 30, 30 minus 1 will be 29 D we can write it. So A value 100,000 plus 29 D, 29 into D value 100 we know that is given in the question. So 1000 plus 2900 we can write it. 2900 plus 1000 will be 3900. So this is the amount should be paid in the 30th installment. So 3900 is your correct answer. So first answer is the correct one. Look at the next question. The amount paid by him in the 30 installments is so Together in 30 installments, what is the total amount paid by him? They are asking. So they are asked you to find out S30. S30 is a question mark. So we should go for SN formula. SN is N by 2. 2A plus N minus 1 into D is your formula. Now here S30. So wherever N comes, we have to substitute with 30. So N by 2, 30 by 2, which is equal to 2A. 2 into A value, 1000. Plus n minus 1, 29, d value 100. This we should apply. So if we cancel, 15, 2 into 1000, 2000, plus 29 into 100, 2900. Now let's multiply. 15 multiplied by 2000 and 2900 will be 4900. So normal multiplication, 49 into 50 we can multiply. We are getting... So we are getting 735. So here two zeros are available. 73,500 is your correct answer. That is your B option. Question number 3. What amount does he still have to pay after 30th installment is our question. Actually in our beginning of the question they have given us the total amount must be paid as 1,18,000. Now we have found out the 30 installment amount is 73,500 rupees. Up to the 30th installment, 30th ending, we have paid 73,500. So how much they have to pay still? So we have to subtract these two. So they need to pay is 1,18,000 minus 73,500 because this is the amount they have paid up to the 30th installment. If we are subtracting, we are getting 44,000. 500 that is your C option. Next question. If the total installments are 40, then the amount paid in the last installment. So total installment 40 na A40 we need to find out. That is the last installment value. A40 will be written as A plus 39D. That is 40 minus 1D. So A value first installment is 1000 plus 39 into difference is 100. So we can write it. So, 1000 plus 3900. 3900 plus 1000 will be 
4900 that is your first option next question the ratio of the first installment to the last installment first installment is nothing but your a and the last installment is a 40 so a amount is given as 1000 first installment amount 40th installment we have found out 4900 so whenever the ratio is given we can uh, go with the fractional or else we can cancel two zeros and two zeros here so 10 is to 49 is your correct answer that is your b option so that is your correct answer if you feel the video is useful give a like to us subscribe our channel for more videos